Hey guys, welcome to another video brought to you by the Tech Hall. In this video, I'll be showing you how to speed up your computer and maintain it, which means speed it up and keep it fairly quick. So, sometimes it's not free. Uh, sometimes you have to invest in speeding up your computer. For me, it cost me, what, 30 quid to speed up my computer by 2 gigs of RAM. It's really cheap. Just go to crucial.com or .co.uk and do a scan, buy some RAM, cheap. If you can't afford that though, or don't want to do that, then there are other options by which you can speed up, speed up your computer using some options in Windows and using some software uh, which comes in Windows or you can buy uh, others or you can get for free other software which I prefer the other software. So I'll put two links in the description for CCleaner and Logic's Disk Defrag which are the two pieces of software we're going to be using today. Okay, I'm going to point something out to you. Um, I'm actually using Windows Aero. If I just right click and click Personalize you can see I'm using Windows Aero. Now because I'm recording this actually slows my computer down a bit. See the mouse drag lag. Okay. Um, the way I sort this out, and I actually prefer to do this, is to switch to Windows Vista Basic theme. This doesn't count if you're on XP. Uh, just go to Windows Color and Appearance, and then click Open and Classic Appearance uh, Properties dialog box there. Click Windows Vista Basic and click Apply. Simple. Now you can do this in Windows XP. Just right click your desktop, click Properties, and then click. Um, appearance or something like that. Click Windows Classic or something, and then done. So you see the uh, mouse lag's gone. Okay, so that is one thing you can do. The next thing you can do, which comes in Windows, is to do with um, computer settings. Just go right click computer and click Properties. Click Advanced System Settings. Now on Windows XP, it's right click Properties. Sorry, right click my computer and then click properties. It'll bring you to this advanced tab right here. And then you just follow along, click settings, and then click adjust for best performance, click apply, and then click OK. Now it will bring this Windows Classic theme, so I prefer to tick that there to bring back the Windows Vista Basic theme because I like that theme. OK, so click OK. And okay, so that is the second thing of which you can use to speed up your computer. Now personally, I don't like doing this, um, it just doesn't look as nice, and also it doesn't really speed up my computer that much. Okay, the second, third thing you can do is CCleaner. Now what CCleaner allows you to do is analyze your system for files you don't need, and it cleans them. It also can search for registry uh, errors and clean them too, so click analyze, click run clean them, OK, and it's just going to remove stuff you don't need. Click Analyze again, Cleaner, OK, Analyze, oh. Registry, and just click Scan for Issues. And make it a bit, make it a bit longer. Now, I've already scanned for issues, and there was nothing, and I fixed it all. But there was one thing you can do um, to kind of, uh, when, when it asks you to make a backup for your registry, do that and then scan and fix all selected issues. So that, that is the third thing. Fourth thing you can do is defrag your system. Now, what defragmenting your system is, and you're better off looking at Gigafied's video, which I'll probably put in the link, the description to that, is when you um, try to search for a file, your hard drive has to look around your hard. Your hard drive has a little needle, and it looks around for all these files, and it has to move files, put them somewhere else, and then find that file. Now when it looks for another file, it has to move stuff around and find the other file. And eventually it gets really messy and it takes a lot longer for the hard drive to search for the file. So defragmenting your system puts everything back where it was. So you see hard drive name, I've got two hard drives selected here. Uh, my videos hard drive and my um, c usual C drive. I'm going to unselect my videos hard drive, click defrag. And then see here it shows what these may mean. The grey means free space, green it means used space, orange means processing, purple or violet or whatever means master file table, and the f uh, red means the fragmented 
The blue means it's defragmented. Okay, so um, really it doesn't uh, isn't taking long for me because of course I've um, I have already kind of defragmented my system not long ago, like a week ago, and I recommend you do this once every week, maybe even once every day, but once every week is fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause my video. What pause the video while this defrag? Okay, so you see it has the, the statistics here. Um, drive type, local drive, capacity 93.8 gigabytes, free, it's actually 103 gigabytes, but whatever. Free space 67.8 gigabytes, skipped files 1, defragmented files 293, total fragments, uh, total, like, files are all over the place, 2186. So, yeah, that's pretty much all it's done. It's completed, it's defragmented that. If I select my videos and insert it that, click it to defrag, it would defrag it. But it's long because there's not much on there. Yeah, that's the fragmenting system. So, thanks for watching. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe if you like my videos. Also, I'm in a partnership with Friggin' Bonkers now, so go check his YouTube channel out. I'll put a link in the description and a link to all the files or you need in the description, and also a link to Geekified's video where you can find uh, defragmenting. So, thanks for watching, and bye bye.